doing the 10 most expensive records according to Discogs. I did it myself. Been really interesting, but I'm like, dang it, Steve, you know, that's not you. You don't spend more than $2 on a record. You don't care about the condition. You're never going to resell them if you can you know, have a choice to. So this is fun, but it's not real to you. And I thought, what if I flipped it upside down and went to the max column and found out what five records do I have that are worth the least amount of money, according to Discogs? Well, that's more up my alley. And I bit off a little more than I could chew. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not kidding. Out of my 5,000 records, I had to go through three pages of 250 each to find the first one. Because if it's never been sold, because it's such a hunk of crap, nobody's interested in buying it in any condition at any price. There's about 750 of my records, which are that way. I got 750 records that are worth nothing, according to Discogs. Yay! I'm not going to show you those. They mean more to me than that, but I went and then went to the listing of founding which ones, when they started pricing, what is the cheapest records that have actually sold for in my collection? And I'm going with the Max, thinking of them in mint condition. Mine are not. So, the first one that we're going to go off of is actually in pretty good shape. I'm not lying. Living Strings plus two pianos, extra special value, still in the shrink, with songs that will live forever. This sold at one point for 49 cents. It's the most expensive of my cheap records, according to the rules we're going by, because I'm going from the most expensive to the least expensive. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the beautiful, sultry tones of the Living Strings, and then you add in two more pianos, what more could you want? Here's something from them up here. And if nothing showed up right there and I, you just hear me talking and I never even stopped, it's because they suck so bad they don't even have videos on YouTube. But if there is one, I'm going to steal it and put it right there. And I did. Did you like it? Or it wasn't there? I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. I have no clue what's going on. Okay. Second. 49 cents also. There was two that were 49 cents. This one is a showboat from Andre Rene and his orchestra with Gogi Grant, Howard Keel, and Ann Jeffries. All right, so uh, I'm going to assume that uh, this is from the movie Showboat. Don't know. But with 49 cents, but uh, let me see if I can find something off of here on YouTube. All right, here. Same thing applies. If you saw something, it's there. If you just hear me continue talking, I couldn't find none. Now we're going to dip down to the 25 cent category. We're going down to a quarter. These records have sold on Discogs. Somebody paid a quarter for them. Johann Strauss Waltzes. Yes, this copy here uh, on the beautiful. Man, I should probably show you the labels on them. Like, ooh, look at that. Yellow Somerset label. Um, this one, wow, it smells really musty. Haven't gotten to cleaning this one yet. Um, sold for 25 cents. You might be familiar with uh, Blue Danube. You know this song? Da 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 That's on here. I know they got Blue Danube somewhere on, maybe not by these guys. All right, we're down to two more left for a quarter. Also, somebody bought Let's Play School from Happy Time Records. It's a kid's record. There's the Happy Time label. And uh, what is on here? Ah, uh, track listings. We've got the Alphabet Song, the Counting Song, Rocka by Baby. This is like greatest hits for kids, guys. Let's play school. Um, see what I can find here.
All right. Now we're down to the very last one. I saved the best for last. Yes, this is also a quarter, but it's a 45. And there's something special about it, you see. It's this Merle Haggard. I'm always on a mountain when I fall. I, of course, created a new thing for it. It didn't come with this. And uh, I got this in a lot of records. See it? But I also got this also identical. And I have the correct inner sleeve for it too. So yes, this has sold for a quarter on Discogs. And I got a couple of them. So what's that say? I don't know even what that means. But I just wanted to show you that. So. Losing wouldn't be so bad at all. But I'm always on a mountain when I fall. I went to Discogs and I got all my records out that sold for the least amount of money. So hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't. It is what it is. I just thought I'd do this real quick and uh, buck the trend. Maybe start a new one. Maybe you'll do the same thing, huh? Oh, I got an email. Who's it? Oh, Randy Porter commented on my photo. Okay, I'll, I'll check that out later. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Maybe you want to do a video like this, too. Start a new thread of which records I have that sold for the least amount of money in max condition. How many records do you own that have never sold on Discogs? Can you beat 750? That's the going number. See what you can do. Take care, guys.